Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Tries to Figure Out What the Heck He's Doing in Foundation, other than marveling the beautiful grass. Mmm. Some tasty grass textures. All right. So I asked for help in the comments, and... Well, I got that a lot of you seem to enjoy this game already. That's good help, actually. I appreciate that. Much thank. Very like. But, other than that, the only thing I got really was, Hey, Thad, you're an idiot. There's iron and you're gonna need it. Well, first of all, excuse me for not knowing every single resource's freaking use in this game. With this being my first time playing it. Second of all, when I'm ready for iron, I can just buy this territory. It'll cost all my money. But it'll also increase my taxes. Because I guess it's all the king's land until, well, while I'm developing. It's technically still all the king's land. This all belongs to the king, you see. I don't own this. I rent because I'm a millennial and I can't own property for various reasons that I will not discuss in this video. But, you know, it, it, basically what I'm trying to get at is it's been the same throughout all 2,000 years of, you know, AD history. And probably the several thousand before that. We, we basically rent everything from the entity that we decide to owns everything. Um, Lily, you're kind of stuck in the rock. Do you need assistance? I mean, you don't look like you do. In fact, you look like you're going to break yourself free. I think you'll be all right. So we're gathering resources right here. What do we have as far as jobs? Well, let's sort by jobs. I love that. We got two people who are unemployed. That's not ideal. What do we got? We got tools, we got berries, we got stone cutters. We're supposed to be trying to buy tools. So we are... We have two people assigned here in the, as the transporters. We have tools here. We accept these. Okay. I guess we try to empty our stock of these as they come in. I, no, where's my freaking tutorial button? Down here. How the hell does trade, oh, there you go. Trade. Trade is made by unlocking trade routes by setting the amount of goods you want to buy or sell and having a warehouse. Open the trade. Pay for a trade route. Specify the amount you want to buy or sell. Buy until inventory reaches this value. Okay, okay. We can do this live. Check it. Trade route. Trading resources. We want to buy 15... Tools. Cool, cool. Continue with the next topic. Okay, next topic. Build a warehouse. We've done that. Tell it to accept. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, warehouse, accept tools. And that's it. Trader should come around soon. He'll have boxes on his back. Hmm. Alright. Generate revenue. Build a market. Alright, I got that. Yeah. I got that one figured out. I like the fact that I can eventually extend the market as well. Through very little work of my own. I'm going to go over here. Hit edit. Costs no maintenance right now. I could eventually put in a good stall. But we don't really have any goods to sell. Luxury goods to make it even better. More tents. Signs. Another house has been completed. Dude, you guys are really packing these houses in here. I'm just saying. Hey, there's a road leading out. I mean, a trader came by and I missed it. But, I mean, I could like fence around this area a bit more for very little consequence. You know, does it cost anything to build the fence? It does not. It literally just gives you extra splendor. So really, there's no reason not to just continuously build. I'm sure there's some reason not to continuously build these fences, but I mean, I'm not seeing it. There you go, you just fence all the way around here, you know, you just keep it, keep it together, you know. Yeah. Welcome to that Builds a Fence. It's pretty great. It's actually our first episode. I think we're learning a lot about fence building, like, um, you know, angle your fence right, and you'll have a good time, at least hopefully. I'm probably not angling it right, so I should shut up. Anyway, the fence actually just pops in out of nowhere, which I like. There you go. You do that, and then you start. And boom! Our fencing is built. And I left a little gap there so that, you know, the, the marketing trader can walk in 
go into this little area here. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. What in the hell did I do? Oh my lord, this is not what I... You know, I'm leaving it. This is this is a learning experience. And what we have learned is don't do tents like that. <laughs> and by tents, I mean fences. Alright, I don't think I need the market tab open right now. Instead, what I think I want to do actually is... I want to buy this territory if I'm going to need iron. But I also need to finish that church. If I want to do that, I need stone logs tools. So I need more tools. Hey, we got 15 tools. The trader came by. I totally missed him. But I don't care. He came by. He gave us the tools we need. We should be able to finish this church. Start construction. Harry and Kunigund are going to build this rustic church. That's everything they need to get to the level of commoner, right? Yeah. Yeah, all they need is a little bit of service. We're going to do it. Uh-oh, my lord. We need to choose who we want to help. Eating out. What? Deliver fish? Is that fish? Deliver 20 fish? The king, the clergy... My people, I'm keeping it all. Okay. Uh, I got 60 day. Dude, I have no source of fish. I don't know if you've noticed this. I can't. You want me to buy up all the land all the way down to here just so I can do some fishing? Are you actually insane? I'm keeping it all. I'm not ready for this yet. Dude, we still have unemployed people. Alright, add one to the sawmill, add one to the lumber camp. Yeah, get more wood. Get more wood. We have 60, well we had 69 berries. It was nice, now it's just, eh, uh, okay. I kind of really want to buy this land. Next time we have the right amount of money. So now we're paying in taxes. Because we own two plots of land. We're not developing one of them yet, which means we should start doing that soon. In fact, what I'm thinking of doing is getting a new lumber camp up here and a new sawmill over here as well. And once those are built, we'll deconstruct these two. They can go to work over here and then they can get all this wood. Bring them a little bit closer to their actual resources. Is there some way we can warehouse stocks resources to trade? I feel like we should be able to have a better... Oh, we could just build regular fences too. Well, that's actually a slightly better looking fence. Problem is it has cost. I feel like there should be a better place to store stuff than the village center where we're just putting it all in boxes and putting it in our inside of our well. Not that I have a problem putting it inside the well. You could also consider building a forester's camp so that we can regrow. Which we could... Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking maybe knock all this down and then have a little greenery section down here. Dude, I am losing money. Hand over fist. What's going on here? Total income, minus 130. Oh, 120 in general spending. That'll do it. Probably part of that was building the, the church. I'm guessing. Commissioning the church, I should say. Happiness is going up. Pretty great. We're going to get new people in only six days. So, so tell you what, throw one in the foraging camp. Uh, the, the other person, Jean, Jean, however you want to pronounce it, go ahead and become a builder. We'll get a third one. I think that'll be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, they built the door. Speed things up a little bit here. 
There you go. Get to actual work. So, how do you do goods? I guess we can't make goods until we're... We got more going on. Alright, the lumber camp up there is done. So, what we're gonna do... Is remove everybody from this camp. And then... Put them all in this one instead. And we may have accidentally shuffled around some people in a way that I did not originally intend, but I want to move around like that. Because we're going to take out this lumber camp. Oh, that was easy. Well, that would have made them unemployed real right quick. Should have done that. Either way, I like it. Produces saw in it. Oh, yeah. Saw for in exchange for wood. I'm cool with this. How's this going? It's getting built. They're working on it. It's going to have some pretty big maintenance costs. But if we save up our money for a little bit, we should be able to get our... Yeah, we should be able to get our funds back, I'm thinking. Wait, if they're just going to haul everything back to the center, then does it actually... Then... Hmm. Maybe it doesn't make sense to have the sawmill out here because they're just going to have to drag it back all the way up there anyway. Maybe it makes more sense to have the sawmill be in the village center. Yeah, that... That does make more sense. Totally build a wooden gate. Totally build a warehouse. Okay, warehouse is used for both stocking resources and to trade. Okay. So, in other words, we can store berries here. We can store our wood here as well. Except wood. We're not trading it, but we are accepting it. And then accept stone here as well. Yeah, so now we put that stuff here. Oh, there's another house coming up. Got more houses, my dudes. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Yeah, now they can bring the stuff over here. Okay, that makes more sense. At least now we don't have to store everything in that relatively crummy village center. Although every every warehouse I do build is going to increase upkeep. Our rustic church is done, and we have some commoners. Check out Harry the commoner here. He now needs goods. So I guess our chance to make goods is near. We can now make farm fields. Dude, and we get two free territories. And here, I'll, my stupid ass is about to buy territories. Whoa, look at all these. Nothing new there. We can make an arch. Awesome. Decorative trees, my actual dude. Road sign. Fencing. Only the best. So now we can get wheat farms. I guess you just build the building and then you zone the farm. Sheep farms to produce wool. Bakery turns bread and water, or wheat and water, I should say, into bread. Doesn't turn bread into wheat. Windmill gets us to flour. Okay. Got to grind the wheat into flour, the windmill, and then the bakery. Gotcha, gotcha. Two new villagers are joining. Weaver's hut. That's how you get the cloth. Then the tailor's workshop can turn that into clothes. And that's how you get goods. Good lord, what a... What a process. That said, we can farm now. I love that. I'm thinking what I'm eventually going to want to do is actually build a castle. Oh, actually, you know what would be a swood place for a castle? 
would be over here. I wonder if I'll be able to build over there eventually. Anyway, if we can start making goods, that'll be a great way to increase our income. So let's keep using the territory we got now and see what we could do with it. I'm thinking over here would be a nice place for a wheat farm. One person lacks space for housing. I mean, eventually I'll put down more housing, but... Here's the... No, this one. There you go. I guess I could knock down this space over here for it. I mean, we don't literally need all the trees. Oh, that, yeah, that's good for housing, too. Yeah, see? They're, they're going to knock them down and just do housing there. That works for me for now. And we have four people who are unemployed, which means we have four potential farmers. So I'm thinking, wheat farm time, boys. This is the shape of it. It's a little funky. Where's the entrance? Right there. Okay. Actually, there's two entrances. So let's do a wheat farm, like, right here for now. Boom. There's the farm. And then we have to zone an area, of course, for farming fields. Allow farming in all this area. There we go. That might not be enough for starters, but I don't know yet. With that done, we're going to need a windmill. Ooh, I like it. Look at that little mill of the wind, man. Any chance I could fit it, like, right here and you'll let me actually... Yeah, you will let me put it there. Well, I mean, yeah, you put it next to the farm, right? We got more villagers coming in already? Oh, I... To be fair, I am speeding things up at speed three. Uh, dude. I need 300 gold to build the bakery, so that's not coming in anytime too soon. But I am excited to get these done. We need tools, we need lumber. We got plenty of lumber, and we actually got some tools recently. And this is stone. We don't need cut stone yet, it looks like. Thankfully, I'm not complaining. Okay. How's our budget looking? I just spent a buttload of money on spending. So I spent 300. My income is negative 206, which means if I hit, had not spent that, I would make 100 per day. Ish. I think this is the bottom one. It's like yesterday's income. Because it doesn't seem to change over time. <clears throat> that said, we're making about 26 a day when we don't spend on anything else. We gained a little bit of money, or we spent a little money on trade. 50 for, all the, for 15 tools is not a bad deal, or at least to keep our stock at 15. Yeah, I'm not complaining over here. We can get more stone cutters. Sure, let's get more stone cutters. Yo, um, what's your name? Davenport. What what are uh, what are you buying? Cut stone. I don't have that, but you will buy lumber for two gold each. Hmm. I don't want to buy fish for a hundred gold. All right. Don't even joke at me like this. I don't have polished stone, but I do have planks. So I could start storing planks in here to be sold. And you know what? I think that's a better idea. Accept planks. And then... Let's put the value of our planks at like 10. And then we could sell everything above 10. And make a little bit of extra money off of that. I like that idea. You're um... Your road's a little crooked. It doesn't really reach the entrance of the church, but I, I guess that's okay. And I could always edit the church later to add more stuff to it. You want some wooden extensions? I know you do. Apparently, just add them straight to the side like that. So, what is this? What does a wooden extension do for us? Like, cost a little bit. Adds a little splendor. Okay, religious splendor specifically. Wheat farm's done. We can now assign farmers. How many unemployed do we have? Get out of my way. Four. Well, congratulations. Three of you are farmers. Could add more towers. 
I like how they actually cost different amounts of ingredients depending on what type of tower you make. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, which door did I build? I did not build door B. That's good, because the other two have splendor. Door C is, like, the, the big door. That's the one that makes you happy, but we're not building that. And there's also, like, wooden extension B, which would go back here? My lord, choose who we want to help. Deliver five bread. I will deliver five bread to the people in 15 days. I'm probably going to goof this up so bad, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, I could totally put, like, an extension right there. Dude, can, I, can I turn it? There you go. If I wanted to increase the splendor of the church eventually. I already have a little bit of splendor for labor and four points and plenty of serfs, so I could unlock, like, the Lord's Manor. There we go. I've unlocked it. I can now build my own manor. Because I, I assume I'm the lord. Your very own manor! Costs 50 lumber to build. That's just the core amount. Oh, man. Look at my gigantic house. <laughs> cool. Um, just put it back here somewhere. Put a door in it, of course. It does give... Ooh, a small expansion of the treasury capacity. Yeah, I want that. And then a tower for more splendor. Okay. Yeah, I might I might do that next. Carla's still unemployed. Oh, we got wheat. Yes, we do. We got wheat. How about you? Okay, we got 13 days left to get this done. I need to build a bakery. I need 300 gold for it. And then I'm going to actually need bakers. Okay. Okay, okay. There are like 400 entrances to this thing. But I'd love to put it right here. But first we need the gold for it. Okay, we have lumber. We have extra lumber. Trader, please. Please help. I need to bake bread. I may have goofed this up. But I'm going to try it anyway. Alright, they're walking off. They're shoving... You know what? Turn off the... Turn off the persistent territory thing. There you go. Yeah, that looks better. See, now our house looks like a home. We got another house built, by the way. Check it. We got plenty of houses. One of them... Built their house right on the road. Because they're a jerk. I'm digging the wheat field, though. Like, by quite a bit. The only problem is I can't see how much wheat we have. Like, wheat is not in here. Maybe we don't have any yet. That would make sense. We can now get two millers. We have one, un three unemployed people. So, congratulations. We have two millers now. We have 157 gold. That's not enough. I'm only making $32 a day. Oh, that is not enough. <laughs> Where are my farmers? Yolanda, what are you doing? Hanging around in your home. What about, what about Winona? They're just hanging out in their house. Got two more villagers, which is fine. Okay, we're 209. Go, oh, we're not going to, we're not going to get this done. There's no way. And I would totally love to have the bakery over here. I think this is like the perfect place for it. Look at that. It fits in so snugly. Please. I'm at 230 now. We made 100 gold last time. We actually made 100 off trade. We, The trade income was even. That was, that's such a good boon for us. Alright, alright. 
not doing anything seems to make us money. At least for now. It looks like we're building another house, too. Which is pretty nice. So at this point, we have 16 serfs and 12 commoners. Still. Not everyone is getting the service that they need. Does this have, like, a capacity? Yes, it has a capacity of 20. So I'm thinking... It doesn't have a priest. But I'm thinking... Maybe we will need to build another church eventually, but not now. Just doesn't seem to be a point to do it right this second. So what can I get if I get Splendor in these other things? Um, oh, so I see. The first thing costs zero Splendor. Oh, no. I have zero. I... Oh, no. I have four Influence and Splendor. Okay, so I could get Wooden Keeps, Wooden Walls, Large Stone Walls. Gotcha. Okay. I don't have anything here because I don't have enough influence to get additional parts to the rustic church yet. Gotcha. Gotcha. One day left. Yeah, this is a failure. <laughs> My workplace is full. All is good. That's what I like to hear. should probably put that like right here. My workplace is full. Hmm. Quest failed. Lovely. I mean, I'm not surprised. Dude, people keep joining us, though. They're flooding me. Speaking of which, I see that this got taken care of. Why would your workplace be full? No, I, I don't want to look at the two of you. Yeah, I guess it's just it just is full. So, maybe we don't need five stone cutters. We're not even using that much stone, to be honest. So, you know, I definitely don't need more stone cutters. Oh, geez, that brought down my influence with labor. Oh, Lord. Lesson learned. Don't promise anything that you can't keep. Uh, yeah, we're going to take away some stone cutters, and I think we're going to replace them with more sawmills. Uh, after we build the bakery. Because I really want a bakery, like, right here. Like, right there. Yeah, build that. Okay. Not, not a sawmill, actually. A lumber camp. Give me a second lumber camp up here. There we go. That cost barely anything, so... Should be easy enough. Now put some more of us to work. So we spent a buttload of money. We're getting more in consumption, though, because there are more people coming over here to buy berries. And we're still stocked fairly well on berries. So I think that's excellent. Uh, oh, I can turn off immigration. Dude, turn off immigration. We have freaking six people unemployed. I don't need more. Our village is plenty happy. I wonder if these people are going to come in anyway, and then it'll stop after that? Hello, Wheat. How you doing? Just brings it straight to the sawmill. And we have flour. Very cool. And when this is done, we'll put as many people as we can into the bakery. And life will be good. Look at him go. Harry, you're gonna make this thing happen. Heck yeah. Alright. Second lumber camp is done. We got three more workers in there. We're making less stone. And we're making more... More wood now. Which I think is the way to go. Because we're also out of lumber. Which is kind of bad. Because we need more lumber for this. Oh, wow. We need 20 tools for the bakery. Well, there's our 15. I guess we got to wait for the next trade now. Once we start making wood, though, we can start trading with Norbury. Northbury. Excuse me. Don't get it twisted. 
told myself I'd stop saying those lines as much, but you know, I can't help it. It is what I am. Saying those things is what I do. It's a part of me. Might as well ask me to stop breathing so much. <gasps> I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm just torturing the mic here today. Look at that. It's like a little... It's like a little village, almost. It actually looks quite nice. Our market's looking a little pathetic. And I have no idea... There she is. I was going to say, I don't know where our market tender is. Oh, yeah. I like where this is going. Especially having less people... Having nobody immigrating for now. That's actually surprisingly fantastic. Oh, wow. We need to... Put, we need to up our extraction zone. Okay, grab... New territory. Actually, no, 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 no. Don't grab new territory yet. There's plenty of extra that can be cut here. This is why the territories thing exists. Uh, extract all this wood. Knock it all down. All right, and that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Foundation. If you're still enjoying it, make sure to let me know by giving a like and uh, let me know in the comment section below as well if you're feeling it. If you're really feeling it, feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Foundation. Next time, I think we will go ahead and expand again and try to make some bread. Let's go. I'll see you in the next episode.